Welcome to a day in my life video. So I haven't really vlogged in a while and I miss it. So I thought it would be fun to just vlog my day. It's a pretty work heavy day. So I've been working pretty much all morning after I woke up, made breakfast, did my quiet time and I've been working ever since like 6.15 a.m. I have a video due today that I'm partnering with a brand for. So that's why I like it's a little more urgent that I get it done today than normal. So I'm working on that. And then I have a couple big meetings at my Disney job later today. And I thought I was going to go to the office. But now that I'm like thinking about it more, I don't think I will. Just because even though I don't live that far from the office, it still takes a while to drive there and back. And I do have a busy day. So, And I just have two meetings. And only one of them I even have the option of going in person. Because the first one, we have people on the West Coast. So we all meet virtually so it's easier for everyone to see each other. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how we do it. So I think I'll just take them virtually later. But I also want to run to Starbucks and kind of work there for a bit just to kind of get a change of pace and get out of the house. And then I also need to run to Target to grab a few things and look at some home decor. <laughs> just a little break, a Target run break is the plan for today because I've been working really hard. And this week has been a little crazy. Brandon and I are making lots of big decisions this week. So if you could just keep us in your thoughts and prayers, that would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, I'm pretty sleepy, but I'm waking up. I'm still working on my coffee. So we're going to keep doing that. And I got to eat this banana, which is literally the biggest banana ever. And it's like a straight line. So strange. But yeah, so I'm just going to do that, work a bit more. I'm finishing like the base edit. It's for a night routine, so it's really fun. I filmed it all last night in the afternoon and at night. They always take me so long, but I love doing it, so it's all good. But I need to film the voiceover soon, which I kind of like to wait a little bit until I start filming the voiceover because I feel like my voice is still so sleepy this morning, so... I'll do that soon, but it's going to be fun and productive day. to my winter night routine. Okay, I'm still editing. It's going pretty well. It's just taking me so long and this day feels like it's going by so fast. It's already almost 10.30 right now. But I'm going to take a quick editing break and I just posted a new video. It's my fridge clean out video, which was so fun to film. And every time I post a new video, I want to like answer comments right away and kind of like post a story on Instagram sometimes that I post a new video, do some cross promotion, all that good stuff. But I'm hoping to finish editing this video soon by like 11 or 11 30 because I gotta get my butt going I gotta get ready gotta put on makeup gotta go run my errands because I at Target I also need to pick up a gift for my sister-in-law's birthday this weekend so gotta get grooving and moving but this day is flying by going through my final reviews now so it's almost done
Okay friends, we're really making progress. My video is uploading, I finished editing that, and I put on some light makeup, and I don't even know if I'm gonna do my hair, honestly. It's like third day hair, maybe I'll put in some dry shampoo, but I don't feel like it, and I need to wash my hair tonight, so I, if I don't have to put heat on it, like I'd rather not. But I really like this outfit. I picked this out last night, um, because I was planning to go on to the office, like I told you guys earlier, but my day turned out to be a little more hectic than planned, but I'm still gonna wear the outfit. The blazer is a pink blazer from Lulu's, and then I'm wearing my favorite, favorite t-shirt. It's just this plain black Express t-shirt. It's just so incredibly soft. And then my pants are also from Express, and they're just these like window pane white and black pants. And then I'm gonna change my shoes, but I do not wanna get out of my slippers yet. for a little lunch break I have my lentil soup it's just like the Amy's organic from a can and a side of veggies cucumber and tomatoes and for the soup I add in ground pepper red pepper flakes and a lot of hot sauce because you guys know I love it spicy out the door to pop over to Target and Starbucks and Walgreens those are the three places I need to go um, before my three o'clock meeting and I just got a notification that it's Starbucks happy hour starting at two so I'm gonna grab I was already planning on getting some coffee later but now I get to do two for the price of one so happy about that but let's go I love this little planter so, so much. It's $80 though, and I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> Live footage of how I managed to hold everything, <laughs> my three cups and bags, and still open the doors to get in my apartment and film this. True talent. <laughs> I always have the worst glare when I wear these. I look like an alien eyes, so. Not gonna wear them right now. But a little Target haul before I start my meetings. So I'll show you my coffee first. I got two of these. The I just got a cold brew with the vanilla sweet cream. It's on top of the, they have a nitro cold brew with sweet cream and I get the just regular cold brew with sweet cream. It's a little cheaper and then they put ice in it too, which I actually really like the ice because it kind of waters down the cold brew. And I don't know, I like the feeling of the ice. It's just so, so cold. So it's just my preference. And then I got a shot of peppermint. So I think they're gonna be out of peppermint soon, but they still had some because it's just January. The holidays just ended, but I'm pretty sure they don't have peppermint year round. But that is cur my current favorite drink. I feel like it's so hard to find a favorite Starbucks drink because they seriously have so many options and like different combinations, but that's what I've been loving. And then at Target, I told you I was getting some birthday gifts for my sister. And so the first, like her main gift is this really cute um, sweatshirt. And it says, happy mama. It's so cute and so soft. And I think she's really going to like the like muted blue color of it. And she's a mom of two precious angels, my niece and nephew. So I just thought that was really fun and I hope she doesn't have it already. I've never seen her wear it, so I think it'll be good, but if not, she can return it and pick out something herself because it's just from Target. And then I also got her these Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups and these are so freaking good if you've never had them before. 
Brandon and I love them and I know that um, Michelle, my sister, and her husband, whose name is Justin, loves them too and I just thought it was cute because that's her husband's name, so. So fun. And then, so that's her gift. And then I was browsing around and oh my gosh, their home decor right now is dreamy town. It is so cute. I could literally decorate a whole house from Target. Like their stuff is so cute. And I want to start like looking at stuff for our future house. Cause I've told you guys, like we're hoping to move into a house next this year, later, later this year. But I want to like keep everything on my radar and I was wondering if you guys know of any way because there were a lot of like beautiful home pieces I loved but none of them were on sale and I know they will be on sale eventually at some point so I want to be able to monitor it without like having to check every single day do you guys know of a website like where you can do that I feel like I've heard of one before but I can't think of one off the top of my head so I would love to like bookmark a few pieces and then keep tabs and when they go on sale then I can snag them and save some money so please let me know if you know of something but I was looking like in the side aisles just for the clearance stuff because you girls want a budget. Saving for a house is really hard. Um, so I saw this really pretty canister container and I am literally obsessed with containers. Containers are my love language and it was $5. It looked like it was in the dollar section at some point, but I never saw containers like this. And I love containers with tops like this that have like the kind of rubber on the the lids but then there's pretty wood and they just pop on and off super easy i thought this one was beautiful so i snagged that for our home but that's all i got and i'm very content with my coffees and ready to go in my meetings i have to present some stuff which i always get a little nervous even though everyone's like so nice and stuff but presenting is just not like my favorite thing which i feel like since I have a YouTube channel and I really put a lot out there, people think I'm the most like outgoing and confident and not shy person ever, but that's really not the case. It's so much different just talking by myself to a camera than like talking in front of coworkers and just a big group of people, so. Wish me luck. It's watering time real quick. Fiddle's leaves are looking a little sad and droopy. I don't know why. Maybe he doesn't like the cold weather. Takes after his mom. <laughs> super great presentation went good so I'm feeling good except I'm so hungry but thankfully I have a hella fresh meal so I'm gonna start cooking Brandon's about to leave work and we do plan on going to our friend's house for a game night tonight so it's coming up quickly this day again it's flying by which I'm thankful for because Brandon and I are not working tomorrow so it's kind of like the weekend almost so so close I can taste it um but yeah I'm gonna cook and then I actually want to shower and wash my hair because we probably won't get home from the game night till kind of late and so I just want to be like all clean and my hair washed and all ready for bed because if I wash it once we get home I have to go to bed with sopping wet hair which is never a good idea because I wake up and my hair is terrifying in the morning <laughs> so I'm gonna try to cook really quickly and then take a shower and then eat and then game night <laughs> freshly showered and ready for game night so we're headed out the door now I made a fresh cup of tea for the road because I've been obsessed with having mint tea at night I feel like it helps like soothe my soul and my stomach I always have like stomach aches at night I don't know what's going on 
something with my digestion tmi anyways <laughs> we are bringing some of our favorite games and this is a new find and it is truly so bunny and fun it's called taco cat goat cheese pizza hilarious and it's nice and compact so it's good for like traveling and stuff so yeah it's gonna be fun but thank you guys for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed this little vlog and i'll see you soon bye